It's me, Mackenzie Marie, and I'm sure your favorite restaurant is haunted. Did you know that it's pretty common for people to pass away in or outside of restaurants? Today I will be going to the top of most haunted restaurants in Los Angeles. That's really messed up. Both of them get attacked and both of them die right here. El Coyote is a Mexican restaurant and also the last place Sharon Tate ate at before the Manson family took her life. Yeah, Charles Manson. In the 1960s, Sharon Tate was a well-known actress and model. And on August 8th, 1969, Sharon went out to El Coyote with a couple of her friends. They arrived back at her house at 10.30 p.m. where members of the Manson family cult broke into her house and killed her and her friends. She was pregnant. It's said that the spirit of Sharon Tate is still seen at El Coyote and they even dedicated their own booth to her. This is the Charles Manson case and I can't believe that she now haunts a restaurant. Oh my God, it's haunted here. This is Sharon Tate. That's the girl. She's beautiful. We love her. We have made it inside of El Coyote. The chips and the salsa are very good. I'm liking the food here already. Carnitas fajitas. Okay, let's go. Made myself a mini taco. Mm. This is good. Delicious. I want to film the Sharon Tate food so bad, but it's like there's literally people sitting in it, so I'm not gonna film them just because they're eating. But it's like right back here, and apparently she got the enchiladas when she came here, and I was gonna order those, but I didn't. But when I come here next time, I'm totally gonna do it. This place is so cute. Have a good night. The food was so good here. I definitely would recommend coming here. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles is one of my favorite places to eat at, but it's also the last restaurant that PNB Rock ate at before he was murdered inside the establishment. On September 12, 2022, PNB Rock was eating at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles when he was robbed at gunpoint. Now the robbery went completely wrong and he was fatally shot inside the establishment where he passed away. So let's go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and honestly, I'm be playing PNB Rock the whole way there because I love his music. Rest in peace to go. We're here at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. It's not exactly what I thought it was gonna be like. Let's go. I can't believe this is where it happened at. Since we're at Roscoe's, we kind of just have to get the regular chicken and waffles. So I'm gonna go with that. It's really weird to think like someone walked in here with a weapon and shot someone. We got the standard waffle with the chicken. And the best part is the syrup. p and Rock, this one's for you. Mmm, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Not a bad place to eat. Mezzaluna is a high-class Italian restaurant and is also the last place Nicole Brown Simpson ate at before she was murdered. Nicole Brown Simpson is the ex-wife to O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson, the most famous fugitive on the planet. What do you have to say about O.J.? Do you think he's guilty, not guilty? Uh, let this battle be a courtroom battle and not a street battle. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. Nicole would go and eat at Mezzaluna all the time because it's literally right down the street from her house. So on one evening, she just went there with a bunch of family and friends to one of her favorite restaurants. When Nicole left to go back to her house, she accidentally left her glasses in the restaurant. Nicole was friends with Ron Goldman, who was actually one of the waiters at the restaurant. So after his shift, he got off, he got the glasses and he brought them to Nicole's house. They met out front of her house and that's where the both of them were brutally stabbed to death. You can go and find the pictures on Google. I'm not gonna put it here but it's really brutal. It happened right out from the house and like their bodies were just laying there while her two children were inside her house asleep. There's a lot of speculation that Nicole was actually dating Ron at the time that this happened and that her ex-husband was like really jealous and he did it. But OJ went on the stand, he was acquitted of the crimes, never actually committed of them. And to this day, it is still a cold case and they don't know who committed the crime. Rest in peace to Nicole. Feels really weird right now. This place was a really, really popular restaurant. They had to shut the restaurant down because of the hype around the name and what happened there to Nicole. They shut the entire restaurant down. Pete's Coffee bought it. That went so bad that they even shut that place down. What is this? The shade store? It's literally a glasses store now. I was under the impression that this was still a coffee shop. 
Now it's a glasses store. There used to be like the sign would be like right there. And this was like a really popular restaurant like when the whole OJ thing happened. Apparently her house is right around the street where it happened at. Literally right down the road. Like it didn't even take us like two minutes to get here. Both of them get attacked and both of them die right here in the front yard. Like that exact tree is where one of them was like, had their last breath. That's really messed up. Yamashiro is a high class restaurant in Hollywood and it actually holds human remains inside of its garden. It's a restaurant that's now a cemetery and a lot of people are eating there thinking it's like the nicest restaurant in LA when it's literally a haunted graveyard that they're eating in. So this place was built in 1914 by these two brothers that owned a lot of like ancient artifacts and they needed a place to store it. So they built this place and it was their home. In the 1940s, it ended up becoming like a brothel, which is where girls would get with guys, you'd pay a woman. You know what I'm talking about. The original owner's ashes stayed in the courtyard of this restaurant, brothel, and they were buried in that garden, which is in the middle of the entire establishment. And you can even eat a fine dinner around it. <laughs> like nobody knows. Why does nobody know this? It's said that at nighttime, the paranormal activity is ridiculous at this place because upstairs in the wedding chapel area where you could rent out the whole place and have your wedding there. So awesome, right? There's a woman who was killed there and it's said that the spirit of her still lingers in the restaurant and at closing hours, you can hear her crying. She was the lady of the night and she was shot in the establishment and that's where she passed away. Can I get a yeehaw? We made it here. Hella pretty out here. A pretty cool restaurant. Oh my God, there's like a whole little pond down here. Hi, fishies. Oh, it's warm. It feels like they pissed in it. So cute. Let's go find some ghosts. Apparently, the ashes are somewhere around here. Let's go find an employee to tell us where they're at. I was told that there was like ashes of the previous owners here. Is that ashes? true? Um, I wouldn't not believe that. Uh, let me ask my manager. Okay. <laughs> Someone take me on a date. I'm single. I'm single. I need a date. One time this was a brothel, right? I'm pretty sure the room down here was where like the girls would get ready at. I've seen a bathroom with rocks in the sink? Is this like a new fancy thing? I've never seen a bathroom with rocks in the sink. I don't know. Why, why are there rocks in the sink? We just found out that the previous owners of this place, their ashes are buried here. It's not in an urn. It's buried out in the garden room right out here. This is it. So somewhere over here, somewhere out here, that's where the ashes are at. Isn't that crazy? Like none of these people know. There's dead people in there. I wonder where it's at. I kind of feel like it's like over by the statue. Like maybe it's over in that area. You would never think this place was haunted. Excuse me? Is this place really haunted? That's what the rumor says. The yeah. brightest suite upstairs. The old spaghetti factory is extremely haunted. In the 1800s, it used to be a schoolhouse, and the dean actually took his life there, and a couple of the students lost their lives there. You get to die in the old classrooms. They even have some of the old memorabilia from the school, like posted around the whole place. There's a vintage train car in there. It's just. The whole place is giving extremely freaking haunted. It's said that a lot of the employees don't like staying after hours because they always hear like little kids giggling or like plates moving around. They hear chairs like sliding across the floor when like basically there's no one there. The audio is missing, but I'm still here. As you can see, this is literally a schoolhouse. This is the stairs, okay? This is where the kids fell down the stairs and they got in an accident and two of them lost their lives here. Like. No no joke. This room is where the dean of the school took his own life. And when I walked in, I didn't know that this was the room, but this room was giving me the creepiest vibes. This is one of the original school chairs had to sit in it. And they also have the original chalkboards from the school. I wanted to sit in the original train car that they had remade inside the place. And I asked the manager if I could interview him. And I wanted to know if he had any paranormal experiences while he was here. And he was like, yes. One night he was working at the bar and he just finished washing glasses when one of the glasses 
fell off of the countertop and shattered onto the ground. And it scared him and there was no one else in the restaurant. Since we came to the old spaghetti factory, we had to get the original spaghetti, which I can say the salad was good. The Shirley Temple was really good. The waiter gave us color changing straws. It's the spaghetti factory, so it should be good, right? No, this food, disgusting. I'm gonna give it a two out of 10. I would come here specifically for the ambiance and that's it. Bonnie Lee Blakely's 10th husband was Robert Blake. He was a Golden Globe and Emmy Award winning actor. On May 4th, 2001, his wife Bonnie went to the Italian restaurant Vitello's where she had parked her car in the front of the establishment. She had just gotten done eating dinner, went right out front to her car, was sitting in her car, when someone walked up to the car and shot her point blank in the face. Her husband was charged for the crimes and three years later, found not guilty. And the case till this day remains unsolved. But it's said that Bonnie's spirit is still roaming around the restaurant trying to figure out what happened to her. Sometimes you can hear what sounds like a woman humming. And even some people say they see her on the sidewalk walking by where her car would have been parked, like looking for her car or something. I'm pretty sure where this actual event took place at was right over here. This is so weird. Look at this whole thing now. It's like all seating for people to like wait for the restaurant now. It's like they built a wall. Yeah, it's like they tried to like cover it up so like people don't remember the history because like this place is connected to that murder. It's closed, so we can't even go in there if we wanted to. This is probably where she was like sitting in her car. Minding your own business, it's nighttime and then you're literally shot and you die inside your car. The actual thing is like built off of the curb. Like this used to be where you could actually park your car at. I don't know if they built this to like cover it up or whatever, but like, it's just kind of weird. It's like they just wanted people to forget that it happened. Rest in paradise. There are so many haunted restaurants. And if you want to see me go to some more, give this video a thumbs up so I can make another video like this and go to some haunted restaurants. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if you would eat at any of these places. I'm Mackenzie Marie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Click the bell button, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. If you want to, you can follow me on any of my social medias at Mackenzie Marie. I love you so freaking much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles.